my back to see. Oh my gosh, do I want to see it? <laughs> oh gosh, okay. What if it's positive? It's a rare condition this day and age to read any good news on the newspaper page. Love and tradition of the grand design. Some people say it's even harder to find. Well, then there must be some magic clue inside these gentle walls. Cause all I see is a tower of dreams. Real love bursting out of every scene. Say hi. <laughs> you doing your work today? Very good. You did a great job on this page. So now we go over here. Can you print the letter A for me over here? Hey fam, Sarah here. Welcome back to the vlogs. I just came off the street. I just actually came from a veterinary appointment because we had to take our, um, we had to take our dog, the puppy, to the vet. <laughs> I really had to stop and think about that one. It was not a, not too much of an early appointment because it was at 10.30. I do prefer my appointments to be scheduled kind of like at that time because, you know, I'm up. I've had enough time to take care of the kids and stuff. And then by the time I'm on the street, it's not a time that... It's kind of like when the baby would fall back asleep. So it's like perfect nap time, except he did not fall asleep today. Things didn't go as planned. <laughs> Anyways, we're back now. Uh, and I'm just getting caught up with the day because today's actually like I think I feel like I always say this I always say the day today's actually a busy day because honestly in my life every day is a busy day But I like it busy. I don't I'm not bored ever. <laughs> There's a lot that always needs to be done Today, um, I've already been back. I've already called to book Savvy's doctor's appointment And I've already taken care of a bunch of stuff. Um, I do want to throw in some laundry as well as uh, now I'm just doing schooling with with the kids because obviously that was dismissed this morning I couldn't do that to go out the door so I'm back doing schoolwork with Zoe ensuring that it gets done I want to get um, a little bit of a workout in we did it yeah <laughs> let's see good job okay but I told you I want you to utilize the lines right look I want you to utilize the line at the top Look, and at the bottom, you see, you have the line to help you, just like here. Um, I also wanted to tend to the plants that we grabbed. Uh, we grabbed plants from the gardening center at Costco on the weekend, and they have kind of just been just left there, and it's not like plants are cheap, so I gotta go take care of them. But I also know that I didn't want to oh. plant. Good job, that's excellent, Zoe. That's perfect. Good job, keep going now. I also knew that I didn't want to plant the plants until May 2 4, which is quite a, still a bit away, so away. But at the same token, it's just you can't wait till that long to get your plants. So my plan is to just keep them in the plant pot, the plants that we do want to put up, um, water them, keep them in the pots that they came in. And if for any reason we have frostbite or anything, I can just bring them back inside and they're not going to get destroyed. And I can. Just bring them inside the garage or bring them inside here just temporarily until you know it subsides and things are back to normal and we know for sure we're moving towards summer. Also today's a big day. The girls have soccer today so um, yeah I had to go. We were running around this past week trying to get shin pads and soccer gear and for some reason or another everywhere is like selling out super fast it's just the season and we're very lucky to have found what we wanted but it didn't come by easy we had to drive around some vet to find stuff so uh we've been doing that for a number of days this past week just to try to get on track yeah so we we basically been trying to do that just to get that on track um and get them what they need before soccer begins because the last thing you want is for your kids to not be prepared so that's today and I guess we'll take you guys with a little bit um, I'll see what we can vlog I'm not sure if their soccer uniforms came in yet because they we were told that they might be delayed but we're hoping that they came in for this week so <laughs> I hope that they they did that would be a bummer if it didn't but I hope it did Look how pretty they are guys <sighs> now I'm just putting them in the Sun so they can you know get some vitamin D as we all need, and we know plants need it to thrive. 
I gotta double check if these are heavy sun to be fair. I think they are. Oh, this one is sun and partial shade. So the sun will be shining out here and then it does kind of disappear. So I think it will be good. That's not where they're gonna be staying, but this is where they're gonna be staying for now, casually. It is. So I'm just having a quick little break right here. Putting my feet up and just relaxing a little bit. I think I'm going to grab my novel and do a little bit of reading. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, for Mother's Day, I was like, one of the main things that I wanted as well was to not cook for a week. Is that selfish of me? <laughs> Perhaps I'm being selfish, but I feel like it's well needed because I cook all the time and, and I like it. But it's sometimes just a bit much with everything that I'm doing all the time. So I'm like, it's nice to get a little bit of a break off from the kitchen. <laughs> right? I think so. Is that you? <laughs> so we're at soccer. Are you at soccer? Are you watching the kids? So we got our whole little workstation going. And the timer for the accuracy. <laughs> Just waiting. <laughs> you shall see. Good morning, fam. Or um, good afternoon or something because I know that this might not be a vlog all on its own. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, we're doing a COVID test. <laughs> And for the past week, Charlotte's been having this little dry cough, which we just kind of suspected was like a, just a summer type cold. And it's, it's she's had like a throat tickle and then it's kind of moved throughout the whole family. Um, myself had it, the kids, I hear them with it. Everyone. The only person that I don't, I don't know if I've heard complain is Michaela. So anyways, babes last night babes or the night before he was complaining that he's been feeling symptoms and stuff and then he just sent me a test and i'm pretty sure that it looks positive but i'm not gonna put that out there until i know for sure that that's what it's saying because i want to talk to him but he's kind of he's at work <laughs> so i don't even know how this is how this works i don't know what's going on from his end but i'm just waiting to get a call back because he just sent it to me so anyways long story short we have some lot some rapid test and we decided to take to ourselves and and do a couple charlotte did hers and hers came back negative she did follow we followed the procedure completely and did the timer and everything and it is very negative so that's a good thing <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah waiting around and just trying to determine if it's positive or negative is just so nerve wracking because it's the last thing I want to have. But at the same time, I already feel like dirt anyway. So like, what's the difference? It just brings back, for some reason, this is like triggering me. Like it brings back the memories of me doing, when I was TTCing me, like doing my testings several, you know, throughout the month when we were actively like trying to have a, another child. It was so, that's interesting. And I was, I did use back then, like I used a different, a bunch of different tests. I obviously used the expensive ones, but I also did pick up some from the dollar store, especially if I was testing early. And I was always told that those ones were so accurate. In fact, that's what they use at like, I think Planned Parenthood and stuff like that. So anyways, we're sidetracked here. <laughs> You guys probably would have seen by now that Zoe is doing soccer and yesterday was her first day and she had a ball. So she's already woken up today and she's been asking me over and over, can I go to soccer? And I'm thinking I could drive you there, but no one's going to be there when you get there. Oh my gosh, what in the world? <laughs> this is what happens when you, when your kids are readers, no matter how young they are. Zavi, did you poop in your diaper? That doesn't answer my question. Look how many books they took out. Are you reading, Mama? Yes. Who wanted to go to soccer today? Me. But if I took you there, no one's going to be there. Because soccer is only on, on one particular day. But we're going to go back. 
Isn't that exciting? We're going back next week. Are you excited? But look. I'm back to see. Oh my gosh, do I want to see it? <laughs> oh gosh, okay. What if it's positive? What if it's positive? <sighs> like, seriously. I don't think I'm ready. Like, I, I'll be so shocked because honestly, I feel like we've been very cautious. Even though I feel like everyone's bound to get this anyway, so. Oh, that's Charlotte's. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh. Okay. Looks negative, you guys. I don't see another line. I should know how to read these because I've read them for all those pregnancy tests that I've been taking, that I've taken in the past. Oh, I'm so grateful. Oh, I'm so thankful because honestly, I just, I hold the fort down. I can't afford to be sick. Like, what happens if I'm sick? I can't just lock myself up and quarantine myself from the whole family. Like, that's no fun.